judging a baby competition. You're not supposed to get them so agitated. I was just playing with them. Playing with them? You're running around with them, jumping around with them, getting completely overexcited. That's why you got sick on me. Doyle looks very different today, doesn't she? Was it definitely Mrs. Doyle? Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking for Mrs. Doyle. But it is Mrs. Doyle. What? I thought you were Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> There's two nice pints for you. Oh great, we were running a bit low. There's plenty more where they came from. Oh. Hello. Father, this is Pat Mustard, our new milkman. Oh, I came over from the south side of the island. Thought I'd spread myself around a bit. Mrs. Doyle, there's some dusting needs to be done up in Father Jack's room. Oh, right so, Father. Well, I'll be on my way. Off on my rounds, Father. Just looking at some of those pictures from today, Ted, there's some very hairy babies. This is a terrible thing to say, but I think if you took this baby's head hair, this baby's moustache and this baby sideburns. I think you get Pat Mustard. Do you think they're copying his style? No, I think it's more likely that he's been like, you know, you know, delivering more than dairy products. No. Mm -hmm. You mean he's been, he's been, no, wait. He's been wanted. I think it's time we did some detective work. <laughs> oh, Pat was up asking if he could put his massive tool in my box. What? How dare you? Yeah, it's too big to fit in the float, Father. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Mrs. Doyle, would you mind leaving us alone for a few moments, please? Okay, so, Father. Okay, Pat Mustard, I know what's going on here. There's a lot of hairy babies on Craggy Island and I think you're the hairy baby maker. Oh, well, you'd want to be up very early in the morning to catch me, Father. Very early in the morning. Oh, this is disgraceful. That employee will have to be removed from his job immediately. But I'm afraid we've a very busy week next week and Pat's sacking couldn't have come at a worse time. I'd love to be a magman. Oh, I certainly think we could trust Father to do it. He is, after all, a man of God. What? A priest. Well, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Well, God knows I do flip all around here. What about your duties in the parish? Like what? That turns it on, that makes it go, that steers it. Right, you're ready to be a milkman. Best get going. Milk gets sour, you know. Except you, HT. That's awful shite. Hello? It's me, father. You ignorant bastard. You got me sacked. So I've left a little surprise on the milk float for your friend. A bomb. 
when he goes over four miles an hour, the bomb will be armed. And once armed, when he goes under four miles an hour, then... Sorry, I lost you there. What happens then? It'll go off. <laughs> I have to warn Dougal. <laughs> Alright, who's that for then, Ted? No, Pat Muster put it there because I got him the sack. It's gonna kill you if you go under four miles an hour. Oh god, I don't want to be a milkman anymore. You'll be grand as long as you just don't slow down. Look at those big pile of boxes up ahead. Just drive around it. I need to go back to the house and hatch a plan. Oh, Ted, it's a terrible problem, but don't worry. We said mass this morning for Father Do. We have to figure out a plan. Something practical. Something that will really help Dougal. Wait, I've got it. Best we've had, Ted. Another mass. That's the idea. There's a time for action. There's a time for mass. Dougal needs action. But Ted, is there anything to be said for another mass? Wait, I've got it. You mean? We put a brick on the accelerator. Dougal, I've got a plan. Just trust me. I just want to be a priest again. When I say step off the milk float, step off the milk float, okay? Okay. Step off the milk float! Ted, you forgot your break! Put it back! Put it back! Run! Well, Dougal, it's safe to say that was a close call. And to think, the milk float crashed right into Pat Mustard's house just before it exploded. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Are you sure he won't have any milk in it? Oh no, no. I no. think I'll stay off that for a while. It's scary out there in the non-priest world. Dougal, not every job is as scary as being a milkman. Anyway, good night. Good night, Ted. Those women were in a nip! <laughs>